going on, peeps? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some Monster Legends. I want to thank you guys so much for coming out with me today. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and show your support. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. Alright guys, obviously there's some new stuff going on today, the epic breeding event and stuff like that. Um, the new um, Two Earth and an Epic Wars, that's all well and good. But today, we're going to talk about how to calculate damage in Monster Legends. I've been wanting to make this video for a while because I'm the kind of person I like numbers. I like to know, I just like to know numbers, okay? It's important to me. And I figure there's probably at least one other person out there that feels the same way. So that's what today's video is going to be about. So we're calculating damage in Monster Legends and how you can do it, um, pretty much factoring in everything. The monster's level, your power, um, elemental weaknesses, everything, okay? So that's what we're going to do here. So first up is going to be a screenshot. You're probably going to want to take it just in case you want to check back for later reference. Um, I got this off Reddit, I do believe. Um, and that's it was really helpful. Okay, so you're probably going to want to screenshot that in case you ever want to come back and reference this stuff. It'll be kind of helpful to have that, you know, in a picture form somewhere you can just kind of look at. Um, but one thing that I want to go ahead and talk about here. Um, before we jump into the actual testing of damage, um, is how level plays with your damage, okay? A lot of people seem to think that your monster's power is the only thing that affects how much damage it does. Well, that and the, obviously the skill's damage, so like a 40 power AoE and all that good business. Um, but your monster's level actually does play a role in how much damage you deal, and for this example... We're going to jump in really fast before we jump into testing and do three different examples here of a monster at different levels with the exact same skill damage and the exact same power. Now, obviously, it'd be very hard for the power to be the same among these three different, uh, you know, three different theoretical monsters. Um, but for the sake of argument, we're going to say it's okay. So first up here, we're going to have a level 70 monster. Okay, this level 70 monster is going to be casting um, a 50 power skill with 7,000 power. Okay, 7,000 monster power, which is pretty crazy. It's a lot of power on your monster for level 70, but like I said, this is theoretical. Okay, so following the formula from the screenshot, you know that to get your monsters, um, to get that first basic damage formula, it's going to be your monster's level times 0.4, or the same thing as 40% of your monster's level, and then plus 2. So for a level 70 monster, that's going to give you a 30, so 7, 7, 7, and 7, because, you know, 10% of 70 is 7, that's going to give you 28, plus 2, 30, okay? Pretty simple stuff, right? So you're going to take that 30, multiply that by the skill damage, which in this case is going to be a 50 power skill, then you're going to multiply that by the monster's power divided by 1,000. So it's got 7,000 power, you're going to divide that by 1,000, that gives you 7, so that's the last number in your basic damage calculation. So 30 times 50 times 7, and that's going to give you 10,500 damage. Now let's say that same monster has been raised 30 levels. It is now a level 100 using the exact same skill and it somehow magically has the exact same power level. All right, that's obviously not realistic, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's theoretical and that's what's important, okay? So a level 100, you're gonna follow the exact same uh, formula as before. So you need 40% of 100, which is obviously 40. It's pretty easy math there. Um, plus two, so you be 42 is your first number. Then 42 times the 50 power of the skill times 7, which is the power divided by 1,000, and that's going to give you 14,700. So as you can see, only leveling the monster up has increased its damage output. So we're going to take this one step further to a level 130 monster, and a level 130 monster, 40% um, of that is going to be 50, uh, 52. Um, 13 plus 13 is 26. 26 plus 26 is 52 plus 2 is 54. That's going to give you your first number, 54 times 50, which is the power of the skill, then times 7, your monster power divided by 1,000. Again, I know kind of boring, but whatever. Um, that's going to give you 18,900 damage. So that right there, just that simple deal, and that's calculating your damage versus someone of the same level. So a 70 versus level 70, 100 versus level 100, 130 level 100. 30, okay? Um, so as you can see, the damage goes up just because the level went up, not because the power increased at all. The power could be the exact same the entire time. Um, it's just going to be going up due to the fact that you've got a higher level now. So with that out of the way, we're going to do some damage testing, okay? Because I think that's more fun than just doing math on screen. Um, the best monsters, I think, for doing damage testing are going to be Shalinar here. Um, because of the inner fire skill, mainly. Gives her double damage and an extra turn. Really helps set this up. Um, and we're going to go ahead and do this in the adventure map. Okay? Scratch my nose a little bit. It's going to be great. Oh, it was great. I promised you it was great. Alright, so we need to find somebody who's got um, three level 100s. Are you going to work for me? 
you are not going to work for me. You're all fires. Should have planned this better. Here we go. This guy. Oh, that's two waves. Never mind. That's bad. <laughs> that's not good. Two waves again. Okay. Give me a second, peeps. Everybody, nobody panic. Nobody panic. Two waves, of course. This is just not going my way, peeps. Two waves again. What is life? 226. There you go. This is what I'm looking for right here. So we're going to go ahead and jump into a battle. Scratch my nose a little bit more. Oh, it's great. It's so great. But anyways, here we go. As you can see, this is my team for damage testing. It's also a pretty powerful team for going through the adventure map and even the survival dungeon works really well. Um, we've got General Thades here for the uh, precision and 50% damage boost. Fenrir for the triple damage and Shalinar for the double damage extra turn combo. Just going to be able to let's stack some damage for later testing. But for right now, very first up, um, our test is going to be simply um, a base damage test. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and drop a... Uh, we'll drop one of these... Get the stamina devours, knock the stams off the enemy, just so they can't do nothing to me. That's what we want to do. Um, with Fenrir, um, I guess we can just drop a wolf's pack, get some AoE bleed on the peeps. Is that not? That wouldn't affect anything, would it? It might. Will it? We'll just do it. We'll do it anyway. So there we go. Wolf's pack, get the AoE bleed going on, just because. Not important. We're we'll testing Shalinar's damage because she's the one I want to do most of the testing on because she's the important one. So we're gonna use Firestorm as our damage. As you can see, Firestorm is a 30 power skill, so it's a pretty weak AOA, uh, AOE, but because of the way she can stack damage so well, it's actually pretty powerful. Alright, so we're going to plug in our numbers. Um, she is a level 100 monster, so that's going to give our first number in the equation a 42. 40% um, of her level, plus 2, 42. It's going to stay the same through all of our testing here, because she's level 100. She stays level 100, I don't level up at all in the video, okay? Alright, so we're going to multiply that by 30 because that is the power of the skill we're going to use. Then we're going to multiply that by her power, which is 6,727. It's actually 6,726 in the info screen I looked at earlier. So I guess she gained 0.1% or 0.001%, whatever, power um, somehow. All right, so all my math was actually at 7.26. We're not going to worry about it. Um, it'll be close enough. The numbers might be a tiny bit off, but it's not going to be a big deal. So here we go. We're going to drop the Firestorm. Multiplying all those numbers together, we should do 8,474 damage. As you can see, we do 8,473. So, there you go. Pretty much, um, within one digit, we've got the the, uh, the number we were looking for. Alright, that's what we should have gotten. Alright, so damage calculation number one test. Success. And now... Um, the test two, we're going to throw a boost on it. I'm going to show you how boosts work. Now, boosts are pretty self-explanatory in the first thing, but when you go to stacking them, it does get a little different, and we'll check that out here in a second. So first up, this next one is going to be a boosted damage. We'll just go ahead and uh, I guess we'll kill one of these guys off like so, just to say we did it, because why not die? All right, now here we go with Finn, uh, Shalinar again. In this case, we're going to be using Inner Fire to boost her skill damage and give her an extra turn. This is going to give her double damage, which obviously is going to double the damage of her skills. All right, that's what it does. So here we go. We've got Flame Piercer here, which is normally a 60 power single target skill. So we're going to plug this into the formula. We have 42. Now her skill power is no longer 60. It's been doubled. So now it's 120 power skill. Multiply that by 6.726. Should be 6.727. We're not going to worry about that. We should do with this skill... We should. We should do 33,899 damage. Um, let's see what we do. 33,898. So we were, you know, one damage off again. So exactly the way it should have gone. Let's go ahead and recharge here. That one's going to burn out. But there you go. That's what a single boost does. Now, this is where things get a little different and people get confused, is what happens when you start stacking damage boosts. Okay? So we're going to fight this exact same battle again, but this time we're going to stack some damage. All right, it's going to be great. Scratch my nose again because that's always good. I mean, this time we're going to go through the whole gamut of stacking, and I'm going to tell you how stacking works and how it does not work. Okay, so first up, we're going to pop in Elite Sea Troops here for the 50% damage and Precision. The Precision is kind of important because it means I'm not going to miss with my attack, which is great. Um, so there we go. We've got 50% damage now on Shalinar. Now with Fenrir, we're going to drop the Rage of Fenrir, which is going to be a triple damage skill. Um, it also has a stun attached to it because Shalinar is immune to stun. That doesn't bother her. She just gets triple damage, which is fantastic. And now with uh, Shalinar, we can drop the double damage on herself. This is going to stack three different damage boosts. All the damage boosts in the game, obviously not counting Totem, which is a power boost, not a damage boost. That is different. Okay, so there we go. Every damage boost is now stacked on Shalinar. 
Now, a lot of people... Oh, we got Inferno Stampede. That'd be cool to use, but I'm not going to use it because I did my math for not using it. Okay? Um, it would still be crazy, though. Any hoodles. Stacking damage. Some people think that it's um, when you do 50 damage, or 50 percent damage plus 100 percent damage um, plus 200 percent damage, they add together. So instead of having 50 plus 100, you have 150. Instead of 150 plus 200, you have 350 damage. Right? That's what you should end up with: 350 percent increased damage because they all add together. And that's not how it works. If it did work that way, your skill damage would be 135 with that method. If you just increased it by 50 plus 100, which is 150, plus 200, you'd have a 350% increase in damage, which would take your 30 power AoE and make it a 135 power AoE, dealing 38,136 damage. All right, That's how it would work if that was the way it worked. It's not. It's actually additive in each stage. So you're going to take that 30 power AoE here, a Firestorm, it's going to be increased by 50%. That's going to make it a 45 power AoE. Okay, that stays locked in. Now when that double damage gets added in, that 45 power now becomes a 90 power AoE. And then when that triple damage gets added to that, it gets added to the 90 power. So your 90 power gets tripled to a 270 power AoE, which is insane, of course. You're going to multiply that 270 power AoE by 6.726, and we should do about 76,272 damage. Like so. 76,257. So we are a smidge off, about, what, a little over 10, 15 points off, which is completely okay. That happens. There's, you know, probably minute decimals somewhere that have been changed. It happens. All right. But like I said, very, very close. As you can see, nowhere near 38,000 damage because damage boosts do not stack additively with each other. You know, 50 to 100 being 150. 50% um, damage plus 100% damage is actually the exact same as triple damage. Okay. So there we go doing that now we're going to do this but factoring in an elemental weakness okay so what if you're attacking somebody that you're strong against that's going to happen right here with these flirties okay they're nature we're fire they will take increased damage to uh from us so how are we going to math that out we're going to do this again um in a uh, like just like we did before we're going to stack all the damage and then we're going to hit them with all the stack damage it's going to be fantastic all right so here we go we're going to drop the Elite Sea Troops just like normal. Get that damage boost and precision. That's what we do. Works every time. 100% accurate. All right. Same thing here with the Rage of Fenrir. When it loads up, like so. There we go. Drop that on Shalinar. Give her the triple damage, like so. Stacking with the 50%. And then we're going to stack on the double damage with the extra turn, like so. All right. Now, to do our calculations here, obviously, the power of the skill has stayed the same. It's going to be 42 for her level uh, modifier um, times 270 times 6.726, which is going to give you 76,272. But now we're going to multiply that by 1.5. Why 1.5? Because that's how you calculate a 50% increase in damage. One being the neutral number, you know, times one is going to be the exact same number you have, saying you're attacking someone with no resistance or, you know, weakness to what you're attacking with. 1.5 will give you a 50% damage boost, right? That's what happens. If you're going to do a weakness, you will do times 0 0.5 instead, and that will cut your damage in half because you're now resisted half your damage, all right? So in this case, we should do 114,409 damage. Obviously, roughly, there's some decimals there that are missing, but whatever, should be close enough. So we're going to drop this Firestorm, 114,381. So we're about 20 points of damage off. Like you can see, though, still very, very close. It's showing you what you're going to do in damage. Um, 41,000 points get wrecked. Get wrecked, game. Um, but there we go. All right? There we go with that. Now, what happens if you have a level advantage? Now, this is where a lot of people, the, the math is a little bit, it's it's right, it's good math, but it's just, it's a little extra math, you know what I'm saying? What happens if, say, you're a 130 attacking a 100, or in our case, we're going to be a level 100 attacking a level 90. So we've got a 10 level power advantage. Um, where is this one we're going to fight? I do believe it's going to be um, this. Yes, because we're going to factor in stack damage now, like we did before, the elemental weakness, like we did before, but we're also going to stack in now um, a level bonus damage. So how much do I do now that I have a level advantage on these enemies, right? That's what's important. So we're going to set things up just like normal. As you can see, the Lao moves are level 90. Um, the Cyan Nathura is level 91, so she'll take a little bit less damage um, because the factoring is obviously a little different because she has an extra level. So we're going to drop the Elite Sea Troops here just like normal. Get that damage boost going on. It works. Works every time. Here we go. Finrear's turn. Get that Rage of Finrear on Shalinar. Like so. And now Shalinar's going to cast the Inner Fire. Just like always. 
three, two, one, and... Oh my god, she got the inner... Oh my god, I want to use it so bad, because it does so much more damage. It's a 55 base power AoE. I haven't done the math for it. I guess I can throw it up here if I want to. I'll throw it up there in case you got the special, because it does stupid damage. But anyways, um, we're going to factor this in with Firestorm, because we've already done the math for that. So like always, 42 times 270 times 6.726, that's your level, your skill damage, and your power, multiplied by 1.5 for the elemental weakness, being that they are all nature. And now, you've got to factor in the greater level multiplier. All right, if you remember earlier from your screenshot here, the greater level multiplier is going to be 0 0.02 times however many levels your monster has the advantage on the enemy. So in this case... We have a 10 level advantage over the Laomu. We have 10 extra levels on it, so it's going to be 0 0.02 times 10. That's going to give you 0 0.2. All right, you're going to add 1 to that because that's the formula. So that's going to give you 1.2. All right, that's what you multiply by now. So the 114,409 damage that we did before is now going to get buffed by 1.2. We're going to multiply that by 1.2. So we should do 137,291 damage ish okay ish because like i said there is about 20 points off before so it'll be a little bit off this time too um 137,250 so we're about 40 points of damage off but as you can see still still a very very accurate um, representation of how much damage that you're gonna do um and it works very well okay so we're gonna go ahead and just finish this one off because why not i didn't math out this whatever this damage this last one's gonna do but it's gonna do a lot of damage because it you know it should do a lot of damage um, we'll drop one of these, um, get the bleed, like so. Just finish this out for funsies sake. Oh, I'd love to use the Inferno. Oh, I can use the Inferno Stampede, can I? Oh, I can. I can. It wouldn't really matter, though. It actually will do less damage, right? Oh, it's a 70 power? Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought it was a 55 power. Because um, that's 60. That is a lot. So we're going to drop the Inferno Stampede. As you can see, it's going to drop a hot 200,009 damage. And that is missing. That's missing completely the 50% um, uh, the damage boost from General Thades because that wore off. So that would have done a, a crap load of damage with that on too. Um, very, very crazy. Go ahead and wipe this chick out like so. Shouldn't be tough. Um, we'll drop one of these just to do it. As you can see, normally 29,000 damage. Not nearly what we do with all the damage boost stacked. Um, but there we go. Win smash that out because, you know, why not smash that out? New personal best. Yay! All right, no big deal. So there we go, guys. That is how you calculate damage. Now, there are a couple of things, obviously, that were not covered. Um, that would be things like sticky lava um, and debilitating shadows um, and the weakness to light that, what's his face, that Glowbrush puts on you with the pocket supernova or whatever. Um, those will be the same thing as elemental weakness, but they're stronger. So instead of a 1.5 multiplier for just the regular elemental weakness, because it's a 50% increase, so 0.5, um, it's an 80% weakness. So instead of doing um, 1.5, you'll multiply by 1.8, because it's an 80% weakness to the element, um, so you're going to do 80% more damage. So there you go. I um, just wanted to cover that really quick. I don't think there's anything else that I'm missing. I know on that screenshot there's something about rune bonuses. I've never factored that in, um, at least not at that stage. I factor all of the damage boosts and the rune bonuses in, um, to my basic damage because it's you know I just do that it's easier for me that way um, so that's how I do it I never even mess with that in the second half of things that goes in the first part of it but there you go guys that is how damage is calculated in Monster Legends um, if you guys have any more questions you can leave those down there I'll try to answer anything that you have hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future videos don't forget to leave those in the down there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can if you like the video please make sure you smash that thumbs up button and show your support and I will see you guys next time.